what's up guys so today we're going to be talking about the fastest and easiest way to change exposure manually while vlogging but i also have to take my trash now i only have minivans and i really don't want to put a bunch of smelly trash into our minivans and stink them up so i'm actually borrowing my father-in-law's truck <laughs> Now, I'm the type of person who wants my settings to be exactly what I want. I want my ISO as low as possible, I want my shutter speed double my frame rate, and I want my aperture as wide open as possible to get as much shallow depth of field as I can. But if you're vlogging in bright daylight, or even now when it's cloudy, setting your settings like that doesn't actually get it dark enough in order to have you well exposed. <laughs> talking about variable neutral density filters. If you don't know what an ND filter is, it's described most of the time basically as sunglasses for your camera. It darkens the overall image and allows you to keep your aperture wider for a shallower depth of field and your shutter speed lower to double your frame rate of 24 frames per second. Now I put off getting a variable ND filter because Variable ND filters can get expensive. But now there's actually some cheap options. In fact, the one I actually got and I'm using right now is like 12 or 13 dollars. Now it's not going to give you as good of an image as some other really expensive neutral density filter, but it is going to be something that'll allow you to keep your setting where they need to be to give you a cinematic result. And when you're vlogging, you're not really that worried about image detail. It's all about the story. $13, you're gonna get what you pay for, and there's no excuse not to get an ND filter. So if you're interested in changing your exposure as easy as this, then check out the ND filters in the description. I'm gonna leave the one that I use, but also I'm going to leave one that's more of about $50, that does a much better job at retaining color rendition and image detail. There you have it, the fastest and easiest way to change exposure as a vlogger. I hope this was helpful, and if it was, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more videos coming out, and we'll see you in the next video.